Okay, um, washing machine's on in the background as always. Got me new one today. <laughs> um, right, okay, today's beer is gonna be a beer from uh, West Country Ales. And it's a collaboration between uh, all, the, all the brewers in the Southwest, basically, most of them anyway. Um, it's called Bristol United Brewers Collaboration 2012 Smoke Porter, 6%. And as you can see, it's um, Arbor Ales, Bristol Beer Factory, GWB, uh, Great Western Brewery, I think it is, Bath Ales, RCH, and Zero Degrees, I think that is. Um, 6% smoked porter. I'm not a massive fan of smoked beers, but I did like the, um, the Stone Brewing smoked porter. I thought that was really nice. So It says, uh, six Bristol craft breweries have come together to brew a very special beer for the 2012 Bristol Beer Festival. The participating breweries are Bristol Beer Factory, Great Western Brewing Company, RCH Brewery, Arbor Ales, Zero Degrees, and Bath Ales. Bristol's modern breweries have united to brew a style of beer that was historically important to the city. This is a traditional dark port of a modern twist. Plenty of flavorful English hops and a hint of speciality smoke malt give this porter an edge above the rest. Bottle conditioned. Um, I like the fact that it's in a hint of smoke because I'm really not a big fan of strong smoke beers. Okay, let's get it poured. Okay, so there you have it. Um, jet black, there's no light coming through whatsoever. A nice sort of tanned head, looking very pretty. Uh, clean into the glass. Looks really nice actually. Let's give it a sniff. Mmm, that's really nice. I'm getting almost like um, a black currant sort of ice cream or something like that. It's like, like a nice sort of cooling fruitiness, um, not overpowering. Also getting a very slight sort of rum, sweet rum sort of smell as well. Those dark sort of roasting malts are coming through as well. They're not, they're not powerful, but they're, they're definitely there. I'm not really getting much smoke though. Bit of vanilla. Also, um, a slight bit of honeycomb as well. We're getting a lot of smells off this one. They're not like massive smells, but there's loads of different ones. Yeah, even a bit of shortbread. Oh, there's something else there, and I'm trying to work out what it is. Oh, I can't work it out. Treacle, that's what it is, dark treacle. Right, okay, let's give it a taste. It smells lovely. Cheers. That is really nice. Ooh. That's got a lovely hoppy bitterness at the end as well. It's extremely balanced, really, really well balanced. Um, I thought it was going to be a case of, sorry, one sec. <laughs> sorry, I was, I forgot about that. I had um, something under the grill. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit of a mishmash. You know, you've got so many brewers all sort of bundling together, but it's really nice. You're getting some very pleasant chocolatey notes, um, a lovely, earthy sort of um, grippiness on the bitterness as well. Um, some nice sweetness as well. You, you are getting a little bit of fruit, like a little bit of blackberry and a little bit of cherry. Um, but I can't detect too much smoke. It's extremely light and it's just really, really well balanced. Like I say, you've got like these nice dark fruits sort of bubbling along with the bitterness. 
some nice chocolatey notes coming through. Slight bit of metallic uh, tang on the end, but nothing major at all. If anything, it's complimented a bit on us. Um, it tastes more like a, almost bordering on an imperial, like a, you know, like a low ABV imperial stout, like a 7% or something like that. It doesn't taste much like a porter, which is a really good thing. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I'll get the rest in there. I think I might have got a lump in there, but who cares? No, it doesn't look too bad actually. So anyway, let's give you a final, a final taste on it. Hmm. So what you're getting, in effect, is a very easy drinking. This is what I think it is. It tastes like a very easy drinking imperial style. You're getting a lovely bitterness at the end. You're getting those dark fruits bubbling along with the chocolate and. Um, that's the sort of, there is a slight edge of smokiness, it's really, really faint though. But it's all going together so well, it gels together so well, and it's a perfect, it's, it's just like your perfect stout really. I know it's a porter, it's your perfect porter I suppose. If you're after a smoked porter, you might be slightly disappointed because I can't taste any smoke. I mean, if it is there, it's very, very faint. I mean, that, that, that sort of um, bit I got near the end, could be just hoppiness, but but it's really, it's still a blinding beer. Eight and a half out of ten. Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much. Cheers.